More thing on this genie, it only drives one way. No one ever, no one told me that. I just took it for a test drive. And here's what it does. So, here's the joystick for the drive. That way it goes fine. Coming back, eh, eh. It seems like it's a low voltage problem from the stick. So I want to pop out this control panel. I think it's only held on by two loose screws here. And measure the voltage coming from this joystick to the controller, to the actual drive pump. And if it's good here, we're gonna to have to inspect the contacts over there. All right, control panel's off. Here's the joystick. So five wires. Take a quick peek at the pins. They look clean. So whatever you unplug and plug in a connector, if the if the thing gets better, it's just a bad contact. It's the quick and dirty way. So it still moves that way. Does not want to move that way. Okay. Got it. Let's um, let's get a wiring diagram out. We gotta see which wires are uh, controlling this forward and back. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Back to this 2007 Genie S60 that doesn't drive in reverse. I did some homework, and here's what we have. So, on the newer Genies. These uh, joysticks are actually Hall Effect sensors. And as you can see, for the drive forward and reverse and the steer left right joystick, we just have power ground and two wires going to our main control board. Now to enable the forward and reverse drive, the control board sends voltages on these two wires. For forward, it's this white wire for reverse it's the white and black and here are the control solenoids so what I want to do right now is hook up the picoscope four channels channel 1 and channel 2 on the two inputs X and Y and then channel 3 and 4 on the two outputs forward and reverse and see if you know if we have an input problem here so again four channels blue and red are the X and Y coming out of this joystick for the drive. And then channel 3 and 4 are the two control wires for drive forward and drive reverse going to our drive pump. So let's roll the scope. Alright, here we go. So let's fire it up. It's still pretty early in the morning. I didn't have my ground lead connected. Let's redo that. So, fire it up. Roll the scope. I was like, why are my voltage levels all weird? <laughs> so, steer left. Steer right. All right. Now, let's wait till the next screen. Move forward. It works. And reverse. Pause it. Let's see what happened. So as you can see, the blue trace, that's the X, that starts at, this is for the steer, this is the steer channel. We're at 2.8 volts, and steer left was 1.3, steer right was 3.8. The steering works perfect. Now, 
for the drive. On the red channel now, on the Y, we have drive forward is 4.4 volts and reverse was 280 millivolts. And we're starting at 2.3. Now when we, when we went forward, our duty cycle was, no, I don't know, maybe 30%. However, when we tried to go in reverse, our duty cycle is like 10%. So, the drivers seem to be doing their thing, but why are they so kind of out of calibration? It's basically giving three times the voltage in, uh, forward and a lot less in reverse. <clears throat> so that tells me that the control board's fine, the joystick's fine, because our voltage levels here on the red trace you know, they go up and down the same amount, what could be the problem? Well, again, you have to do your research, and here we go. How to calibrate a joystick. The joysticks in this machine utilize digital Hall Effect technology for proportional control. The joystick is disconnected or replaced and must be calibrated before that particular machine function will operate. <clears throat> the joystick must be calibrated before the threshold, max out, or ramping can be set. So these are kind of smart controllers, so they need to know exactly what you want to do based on the joystick input. So it gives you procedure for the calibration. Then how to adjust the joystick threshold setting. Then how to adjust the joystick max out setting. So we want to be scientific here. So I created two math channels and you can do that by going to tools and math channels. These guys right here, if you go to advanced, I select duty and the channel name. So here they are. So the dark green is the duty cycle for our forward movement. As you can see, the top value for the duty cycle, it ramps up and then boom, it reaches 40%. On our yellow channel in reverse, we're only reaching, you know, we ramp up and we only reach 23%. So that's about half the voltage, uh, you know, half the duty cycle of the green channel. So again, I think this thing is out of calibration because they should be equal and you know, the joysticks the joystick itself the inputs are perfectly fine because delta is 2 volts if we're going forward and if we go in reverse delta is also 2 volts so this proves that it's a calibration problem the control board isn't ramping the duty cycle up enough for this thing to drive back. So now we can go ahead and redo the calibration here. All right, here we go. Following the steps <clears throat> to calibrate this joystick, open the control box, pull out both emergency stop switches, turn the key, switch the platform control. We're calibrating the drive joystick. Unhook the wires, wire connector for 10 seconds until the alarm sounds. <clears throat> Connect the wire harness connector to the joystick. Okay. Move the joystick full stroke in either direction and hold for five seconds. So let's go forward. One, two, three, four, five. Alarm's not sounding. Try again. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now move it all the way forward. Three, four, 
Well, we have some blinking LEDs here. And there's a procedure on how to read fault codes. Let's check that out. Okay, so the two codes I pulled out of it is 6117 and 2317. So let's just shut it down, pull the button, and record this on camera. Three, four, five, six, one. So 61 is the error type. And then the yellow one will flash one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it goes up, up, up. So next code is one, two, one, two, three. Now that stays solid. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pop, up, up. Now we're back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six. One, sixty-one, and then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, sixty-one, seventeen, and twenty-three, seventeen. So sixty-one is the steer joystick, seventeen not calibrated. Okay, that matches. And then twenty-three, seventeen is boom one flow control valve. 17 not calibrated, normal function except threshold for one or both uh, directions is zero. Calibrate valve thresholds. Self-clearing, okay. So actually that makes sense because on this thing, when you try to go up with the boom, there's a delay and then it like starts going up after three seconds. We have two joysticks to calibrate, so let's, let's start with this procedure again. All right, so disconnecting the joystick, wait for our alarm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Connect the wire. I'm going to move the joystick back. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, Two, three, four, five. Okay, alarm should sound. Check the electrical connections. Repeat this procedure for each joystick. So turn it off. Turn it back on. Let's see what the codes now read. All right. Well, I think it went through. One, two. One, two, three. So 23, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 23, 17, and 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 23, 17 is the only code we have left. That's good. Let's see if this thing actually drives now. calibration. Let's see what the code reads. One, two, three, four, back to 61. Crap. Guys, honestly, I think this controller board is messed up because, again, in the forward position, let's uh, display the Let's see, views, channels, 
Um, we had the math channels, didn't we? Let's do C and D. We're still only going up to... Where's the duty signal here? Uh, I just want to get this thing fixed. But it's not getting fixed. <laughs> only 14% and then it like spazzes out and turns on the, the forward again even though I'm holding the joystick all the way in reverse either calibrations messed up or you know I tried recalibrating it like 10 times <laughs> and adjusting the uh, the max out setting and it's just it's not working and the only code that it's setting is 23 which is for that boom flow control valve, which we have a problem with. Um, but this drive, you know, I tried ramping up the max up settings and we actually got some signal again, but it's way too low. The duty cycle is way too low. So, on, you know, when you first recalibrate it, it's, it doesn't react at all to the joystick. And when you ramp up the, um, you know, the max out setting, it goes only to 14%. So if something changed again, it started at 23%, which was still too low, but now it can't go above 14%. Mm. So I measured the duty cycles again. Now the forward only goes up to 23%, and the reverse goes down only up to 13%. So it doesn't even drive that fast forward anymore. So what the heck? Is, is it a calibration issue? I'm gonna keep poking around here and I don't know if we can get this thing to work again. So here's the other Genie 2008 S65 with the same controller board. This guy off. Same exact board, same part number. And I plugged in the board from the other Genie and it's showing the same fault. Let's see if we start it up and try to drive it. Same garbage, doesn't wanna go. Let's plug in the good board and compare it. All right, so this is the board that's original to this Genie. As you can see, the fault indicator is not on, so everything's good. We fire it up. It drives fine. Bingo. That's it. So whatever we verified with the scope, that diagnosis that the board is indeed bad, that you can't calibrate the joysticks, 100% confirmed. Luckily, we had another Genie to, with the exact same board that we could swap it over. So now I feel confident we can look up the price for this thing, pop it in, should be good to go.